Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and if you're new here, I love all things Halloween, Hocus Pocus, unboxing, Harry Potter, makeup, and all that jazz. Um, today's video is going to be a long-awaited one. I have seen so many of the ColourPop unboxings with their new mystery boxes that just came out um, maybe like two months ago or less than that. I'm not sure. But uh, I tried it out. Like I'm, I got one. Here it is. I think I got the middle one um, because the bigger one had seemed to have a lot of things that I already had in it. The smaller one kind of same thing all maybe like all lip products and I have a lot of their lip products um so I kind of just wanted to see if I could get lucky so I did get the middle one and it is right here I haven't opened it yet the tape is still on it um but yeah if you guys want to see what I got in my mystery box then definitely keep on watching okay so I have my trusty pink knife with hearts um I'm just gonna open it up try not to cut myself and then when I open it up this is like the mystery box so I for some reason I thought that there would be something in here but there's not like a, a smaller box but there's not so this is what it looks like when you open it up of course it says color pop right there and then it has um bubble wrap so I'm gonna do it like an actual mystery box and I'm not gonna look inside um because I like surprises so um and if you've ever seen my mystery box um, oh, there's Theo making an appearance like he normally always does. Um, and I'm pretty sure you'll see Winnie running around here somewhere. Um, but anyway, if you have seen my mystery box unboxings before, if you haven't, go check them out. I do uh, mainly Jeffree Star ones, but this is my first uh, ColourPop one. But I love them, so if there's another one that you guys want me to do, and I'll check it out, um, put it in the description. Or not description, put it in the comments, and I will check it out. Um, but I do obviously write the original prices on them and like if they're sale prices, I'll do that as well. And then I'll see if it's really worth it for you guys. So if you guys want it, then obviously take your chances. Okay, so here's the receipt. Obviously, this one is, I think it's like the C, yeah, it's like CP Confidential. Um, I forgot how much it was. I think it was like 50 bucks. There's like a 30, a 50, and like a 90 or something like that. So I just got the middle one. Um, okay. So the first thing in here is, oh, okay. A super shock blush. Um, I'm not sure what collection it's from, but it's really pretty like light pinky, like blush packaging. Super cute. Um, it is called Voila. Or voile, I think it's voila, but there's no a. I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay, here's what it looks like. It looks a little deep for my skin tone, but I could always use these as a blush. I love their super shock formula, super creamy. This is what the shade looks like. So it is super dark, um, and there is some like sparkle in it. But, like I said, I can totally use this as like an eyeshadow as well. So, I'm happy with that. And I do, I do keep their packaging. <laughs> so, I, because if it's super cute, I'll keep it. So, um, okay, the next thing is, I love that they come in their individual like bubble wrap. Okay, this is a super shock shadow. And on the top it says, keep the magic in, close jar tightly after use. This is, I don't know if this is their normal packaging because I normally don't order like the super shock, super shock shadows, but it's in like this like light lavender packaging with like um, eyelashes all over it. I'm gonna grab my trusty like eye, my, my cleansing pads. <laughs> Um, I get the spa descriptions cleansing pads from like Burlington if you guys have one. Um, they come with 80 and they're like three bucks or something like that. I absolutely love them. Honestly, I've gone through like three of them and they last a long time too. Anyway, so this is a super shock shadow in the shade flower child. I wonder if I have this one already. 
I don't think I do. I have Frog, Cuddle Buddy. No, okay, this is a new one to me, so that's good. This was a new one to me as well. But look, oh my God. This is Flower Child. It looks like a, like a champagne-y color kind of. There are like glitters in there. This is what it looks like on my finger. It's like kind of golden. Really pretty topper, honestly. I will totally get use out of that. And really beautiful for like a normal highlight or like an inner corner highlight. I do have an inner corner one. I actually think I'm wearing, yeah, I'm wearing all ColourPop shadows today. I'm only wearing two. But I have this little Z palette. I love ColourPop's little Z palette. Um, I'm wearing this shade all over my lid, and then I have this one in the inner corner. The only thing I don't like Z palettes is I don't know the name of them. Um, Come and Get It is the shimmery shade I have in my inner corner, and then Shake It Up, Shake It Up Matte is the one that I have all over my lid. So, love those. But yeah, super, super beautiful color honestly. So this is off to a great start. I'm going to keep it out of this packaging just because it's like a normal packaging. And I'm actually going to take the first one out of their packaging too, but I'm not going to put them away until I get all the pricings. And I remember, I will do that all at the end though. Is there any more? Um, okay. I feel a single. Oh my God. I think I have this one. Um, Banty. No, I don't think I have this one, thank goodness. Um, no, so this is gonna go, I do have the bigger one, so that one's gonna go in here. But I, it literally, this is the shade, it looked like this one, but obviously this one is darker. Um, I do use this one all the time, this one is called Blossom. So this one is a pressed glitter and it's called Band Tea. I'm not a huge, huge fan of their glitters just because it's a little um, more of a like a crazy formula, but I still do use them. But here's what it looks like. And if you don't have like something underneath, then the glitters do just like come off and barely shows like any color. But Obviously, this would be the color. So, I mean, it is super pretty. So, I will use that. And like I said, I'll put it in my Z palette. Just going to wipe off my finger. Okay. Oops. I'm super not organized ever. Um, okay, I forgot how many products come in these, but that was three. So, and so far so good, no doubles. So that's nice, or duplicates. Um, okay. I'm gonna go in. Ooh, okay. So I knew this was coming because they were literally sending them, sending all of them in like every box that I've seen open. So this is the ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara. And this is in the shade black. I have seen people get brown, which I do love brown mascaras as well. This is the packaging and I actually really like it. I'm not a fan of like the big bulky packaging and I do love that. It is a little big, but I do love the wand regardless. Smells like mascara. So I'm super excited to try this out, honestly. I do have my favorite mascaras, obviously, that I wear 24 seven. It's my like essence ones. I have my Tarte. Uh, lights camera lashes mascara on it's like $21 or so at Ulta or wherever you can get Tarte but that but that's like my top um what's it called that's like my top uh high-end mascara Ooh, ooh. okay I don't know if I have this. I did get a set of brushes for Christmas last year, but this is the F24 Medium Fluff Brush. I thought that some of these, were, I forgot some of these were coming. So no, I do not have these. I have the, like the white 
brushes or whatever and I love them. This is, and it's like the E set, like this is E25. Um, but this is, like I said, the F24 and it's a medium fluff brush. So, I mean, I could put it on for highlighter or contour if I want to get it like super defined or like under eye powder, honestly. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. I'm just going to put it back in the packaging just for pricing later, but that's super exciting. All new products. Don't worry. This is not makeup. It's a cut. I don't know. Um, okay. Next thing is, ooh, a So Juicy Plumping Gloss. I only have one and it's in the shade Dress Code. It's a darker shade and obviously it is different. So another first item for me, which is super nice. And this is in the shade Stunton. <laughs> so that's super cute. And I do have the So Juicy Glosses from um like the Liz mcguire collection but obviously i knew this wasn't the Liz mcguire um the only collection that i've seen in these is the um what's it called the animal crossing i've only seen like their palettes but yeah i'm super excited to use this honestly because i do like this gloss and it's not like it is really, um, like, I don't know the word for it. Like when you, and do that, like it's like that, but this is what it looks like right here. Um, it, it is pink, like there is a color to it. It's like a, obviously kind of like a pinky, peachy tone, whatever. I'm sure it'll be like more defined on the lips, but obviously right now it's not on my lips. So... Like I said, that's another new one for me, and I'm super excited for that. So, let's go in with the next one. I'm on one, two, three, four, five, six products. And I still have, like, literally so much in here. Oh, my God. Ooh, okay. So, this is my first fourth ray beauty product in this box. I do have, this is the Acai Face Milk. It's a super fruit uh, moisture booster. So this is a new one for me. I was hoping I was not going to get the same one that I have because I do have the papaya one and I do, where is it at? It's about right like here. Um, obviously if you guys don't know, I'm pregnant. Um, I'm about six months pregnant now. So I stopped putting like a lot of products on my face, at least for the first like trimester. Um, my acne got super bad and I didn't want to put anything on my face to risk it, but I did start using that again. So I am excited to get a different one. I don't really know what it smells like. I don't know what acai is. I think it's like a berry of some sort. It kind of looks like blueberry, not blue. Well, okay. Maybe it does look like blueberries. It says, what is acai? An Amazon super fruit that's known to be rich in antioxidants. So it doesn't say anything about blueberries, but it is definitely like a berry, I'm going to assume. But I do really like the face milks just to put on like before my primer for my makeup or after I take all my makeup off at the end of the day, I like to put it on just to replenish my face. I really like that. So that's nice that I got a new one. So that's cool. This is, ooh, okay. This is the same packaging as this. So I really want to know what collection that's from. If you guys know what collection it's from, put it in the comments below so I can go check it out. This is a cream gel pencil and I actually really like these. Um, okay, this is in the shade So Happy and this is a lippy pencil, which I do enjoy their lippy pencils. Um... This is like the original packaging, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Oh, this is the BFF2 one. This is the one I wear quite often. But this is, like I said, so happy. Let's swatch it. I love their formulas, honestly. It's so creamy. Such a beautiful color for like the medium nudes, dark nudes, even like a light nude if you want to darken it up a bit. 
I absolutely love that shade. I already put it away. I need to not. That's my curly one. Where'd it go? There it is. I was gonna put it away, but I can't do that because I need to do pricings. And I need to remember what I opened. So that's really good, obviously. I love that shade. Super wearable, super comfy, creamy, A+. This is a lippy stick. I think I have, I don't know. I don't think I have a lippy stick, honestly. I did, but I never wore it. So I think I gave it to a friend or a family member. Um, but I really wanna start wearing them again because I've heard that they're great. So this is a lippy sticks in the shade, who run this? And it says matte X. So I'm just gonna assume it's a matte shade, which I obviously love matte shades. And if this is the color, I love the color. Okay, this is what the packaging looks like, just the normal white packaging, I'm assuming. And then the color is right here, which I love that they do that, honestly. Okay, that is not what I expected. Look at the color and then look at the cap, or like the, oh my God. That's actually like a terracotta, like a burnt brick, like red brick orange type color. This looks more like a brown, but the formula is super creamy and I would totally wear this in the fall time, which is coming up. And I have maternity pictures coming up. I have my baby shower coming up that's Hocus Pocus themed. So I'm super excited to get use out of that, which I will use. Put that back in the packaging for now, obviously. Okay, the last thing on the top layer is a cream gel liner. It says like BFF in a heart, which is super cute. I really like this packaging. It's like pink and like glittery. There's stars and hearts all over it. I love it. This is in the shade Boots. I wonder, I don't know if this is from like a collection. I'm not sure. I'm not, there's so many collections that come out. So I'm like not sure if this is from like a specific collection. If you know, like I said, drop it in the comments. This is in the shade Boots. And it's a BFF cream gel liner. I was literally gonna order this the other day. I think it's on sale for like $1.50 right now or something like that. But this is a liner. There it is right there. Creamy, not as creamy as the lip liners, but so creamy for a cream gel liner. Their liners are amazing. I love them. I love the retractableness on these. It goes and a little goes a long way with these for sure. So I'm super excited that I got this for one, cause I don't own it. I was gonna buy it, but I stopped myself. So that's great. I'm super excited to add that to my collection. All right. Okay, I had a feeling I was gonna get at least one of these. This is the only one I see in here for now, but I probably got the other one. I'm not sure. This is the Nook Incorporated Pressed Powder Palette by Animal Crossing. I did used to play Animal Crossing, but I don't really play it anymore. My sister loves it though. So I might give this to her for Christmas if I don't like the shades, but I do have a lot of palettes. So I still might gift it to her for Christmas because she's not really a makeup wearer, but on certain occasions. <gasps> oh, these are her like favorite colors too, but they're so cute. I might keep it for myself. I think I might keep it for like it's just like a pretty blue and like green palette and she loves these colors, but I may keep it for myself. I don't know. Comment down below. Tell me what I should do. Oh my God. They're so pretty. Holy crap. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to put them. Okay. I'm going to put them like right there. First shade. Yes. Yes. Made in the shade. CEO is like a pressed glitter, so I'm not going to get the best pigment. Whoa, that was actually not that bad. And then water landing. These are the shades. Oh, I did that completely off. Really pretty palette. This one's kind of patchy, of course, but just build it up on your eyes. I'm sure it looks beautiful. I'm super excited for that, honestly, because I do love to have a lot of collections. So that's super nice. As you guys know, I'm just <laughs> taking this off with my little patch. That press glitter is like stuck to my hand from even the first one that I did. Okay. 
I don't even know how many products that is, honestly. Um, that is from the palette. What is this? Okay, I had a feeling I was going to get one of these. This is a shimmering dry oil from the Soul Body. I don't have any of the Soul Body products whatsoever, so it's another new one to me, which is great. Literally all of the products that I've gotten are new to me, and I do have a lot of ColourPop products. So that's honestly really shocking, but that's one reason why I did not want to get the large box, because... I just felt like I would, there was a better chance to get a duplicate and I did not want to get one. Um, but anyway, this is in the shade Opal Teeny. So I'm going to pray that it's, oh, bitch, that's beautiful. Oh my God. Okay. So this is, I don't think this is a mini. I think this is like a normal size, 0.88 fluid ounces. It doesn't say mini. So I think this is a normal one. It says it's a luxe lightweight dry oil with next level multi-dimensional shimmer. How to use it. Shake well, massage into skin using fingertips or buff into skin using brush. Apply liberally to highlight your highlights. <laughs> this is such a beautiful shade. Oh my gosh. If you guys like know what opals are, they're like white gemstones but they have like a whole bunch of different colors in them but I feel like okay this is a white glitter but it's got I wish you could see it in cam on camera honestly it's got like different color like glitters in it I want to dry Ooh. so that's what it like came out as so it looks like more purpley Oh my god and it feels so nice and like luxurious honestly oh my gosh it makes my arms feel so good they're so glittery so shiny oh it smells so good I'm actually really happy with this I'm normally not like a butter glitty body glitter person I do have if you guys don't know I love Jeffree Star even if you guys hate him whatever I love his makeup some of the best makeup out there. Um, but I have the Liquid Frost. And it's in like the white shade. I use this um, like all over my body when I go to the beach. So this would be a perfect. Um, like obviously the travel. And I'd probably take my Jeffree Star one because it's smaller. But like I could use this literally every day in the summer. And I'd be so happy. <laughs> I did get it a lot on my hands. <laughs> Uh, whatever um but I'm still happy super super happy with that I can't talk because I'm so happy I think that was the last thing yes okay that was the last thing so I got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve products I think that's the amount I was supposed to get um it doesn't tell me but I'm sure it does on the website or something so I'm going to go find these products on the website and I will be right back to see if these were worth it. All right, so I'm back with the product prices and my final thoughts on this box, whether it is worth it or not. Um, don't mind me while I <laughs> fix that. Um, so first off, there were 12 products in my box. Pause. There are 12 products in my box. The box was $49 and like I said, oh look at Theo, he's like perfectly in line with the frame. So cute. Um, this box that I got was the CP Confidential. It was $49 and it was free shipping. So like with taxes and everything. Um, I wish they would tell you on the receipt, but <laughs> so with taxes and everything, I it's over 50, but whatever. Um, the value it was 102 value. That was the supposed value of if you bought the box that that's the amount. So you'd be saving over $50 or whatever. A, um, a couple of these things were sale items. Um, but still I did calculate the prices even with the sale prices and with their normal prices. With the sale prices included, the box was $83. And... That's still, I'm, I'm saving like at least like $20, $30, even with the sale price. So I do recommend getting the box, even with that. 
um but i did see that a lot of these sale products like were out of stock and even some of these normal products that i got sent were out of stock as well so that was super cool um but the normal price for all of these normal price no sale was 102 dollars. so they were serious on their stuff they were these are literally ama amazing products i do recommend getting this box if you guys are ColourPop fans, um, I would recommend getting either the small one or the big one, or not the big one, the small one or the medium one like I got, just because, I mean, unless you do giveaways or give them to family friends, which I, I'm small, I'm a small YouTuber right now, I'm not even, nobody knows me at all. <laughs> so I would just be giving these to family friends. So I'm still paying for it and I'm not able to give it away to one of you guys. But I am able to give it away or gift them if I did have duplicates to friends or family. Um, but just to maybe not get duplicates or anything like that, I would recommend the smaller boxes. Unless you don't care and you use them way often, then I would recommend the big box. It is super worth it. Um, but this middle box honestly had such a variety of stuff. I did not get two of the same like even kind of product. Like I did get a cream gel liner, um, but then I got a cream gel pencil. The liner is obviously an eyeliner. The pencil is obviously a lip liner. So I did not get any of the same product. So that's amazing in itself. Um, I definitely, <laughs> I kind of want to buy another one, but I'm just going to wait for the next one if they do another mystery box. Cause like I said, I am pregnant. Um, I did just get engaged, um, on Sunday, so I'm super excited and this is just going to be a super busy, like, year for me and I'm not trying to buy extras, you know? So, yeah, those are my extended thoughts on this box and whether it's worth it or not. In my opinion, yes, it's worth it. I loved everything that I got. I will most likely use everything in this box. If not, I will give it away to a family friend or a best friend or whatever. Um, maybe gift it for Christmas or a birthday, but I will most likely use everything that I got. And that's super exciting for me. Um, 12 products, that's a lot. And if I use everything, like that's incredible. And for only $50, that's awesome. 12 products, $50, you really can't beat it, honestly. Um, especially with savings of over 20 to $60, that's insane. Um, so I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so I will continue to do more unboxings and I will know that you guys enjoy them. If you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And you can follow me along on this journey, wherever this may, journey may take me. I don't know. You're just gonna have to follow along with me to see. Um, but until next time, stay spooky. We're in that season. I'm super excited. Did anybody start uh, Halloween decorating yet? Anybody early September decorators like me? Anybody? Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm just so grateful for all of you and yeah, I love you guys. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.